Hi, welcome to the delicious world of Finn and Harry. Now today we're going to make something that couldn't be easier, simpler. It's 20 minutes top to tail. It's Finn and Harry carbonara. We've got some pasta. We've got some eggs for the sauce. We've got some gammon, uh, traditional obviously in carbonara. We've got some parmesan cheese. We've got some chopped parsley. We've got some nice rocket leaves. We've got more parmesan to garnish. We've got some lemon for some zesty life. And of course we've got the star of the show. No sure without punch, Mr. Finn and Haddy himself. Beautiful, pale smoked Finn and Haddy. Uh, the Haddy part is the haddock, it's a haddock. Uh, and the Finny part is Finden, which is a village in Aberdeenshire. Right, and it's cold smoked. That's really the important part. So the actual product is in fact just flavoured, just seasoned. It's not raw. Okay, so when you cook it, you still got a really nice succulent, juicy piece of fish. And that peatiness gives it a really nice sweetness as well. So it's kind of unique in that respect. Okay, so we are cooking already. Now what we've got, I'm simmering away here and a wee pot of milk was our Finn and Harry. Okay, so the smoked haddock's in there. Simmering away, eight, 10 minutes maximum, right? And then here we've got some pasta cooking as well. Always cook your pasta according to packet instructions. That's just Penny, Penny's good for this dish. Just fish out our fish. Very carefully. I'm just gonna rest that on a plate. And what we want is that just to cool down. It should take a couple of minutes. And then we're going to flake it and that's going to be the basis of our sauce. Three eggs. Now this is going to feed a family of four. Easily. Maybe more. So the eggs in there, in the bowl. Cooking liquid from the milk, from the, the haddy. So look at this nice smoky flavoured milk. A couple of scoops of that in there. Push that to a nice emulsion. At this point, we're going to add some cheese, so some grated parmesan. Parmesan to taste. You can always add more at the end. Some parsley. Put that together. And a little salt and a little pepper. Now, not too much salt, but plenty of pepper. Plenty of pepper. Right, lovely. A touch of salt. Now the Finn and Haddy is salty, so you don't want to over season at this point. Mix together. That's that pretty much done. This dish is pretty much two pot cookery. So, what we're going to do is we drain the pasta. And obviously, you want to keep the pasta a wee bit al dente. Al dente just means it's got a little bit of bite to it. And once that's thoroughly drained, back in the pot. To this, we're going to add our eggy, creamy, cheesy mix. And that's that classic carbonara flavours. The actual heat of the pasta will cook that. Well, that's just, just ever so gently cooking, I'm just going to flake our fish. So the best way to do it is just turn it over and then scrape off the skin. Be careful there aren't any little pin bones on your fish at that point, especially if you're feeding the kids. That's all good. So just coarsely mash it up. In it goes. In goes our gammon. Good dry cured ish gammon. I'm just going to put a wee touch of heat underneath this. You don't want it to overcook or over curdle. So this is really the only point of the dish that you've got to Keep your eye on what you're doing. A wee bit of careful cookery. Make sure all those big flakes of the, the fine fin and haddie are broken up and all that and the flavours infused into the pasta. Okay, and then we're going to serve it. So what could have been easier? I mean, that was all done in virtual real time. Some beautiful penny pasta with fin and haddie, good airship gammon, carbonara. Pell it on the plate. Just a wee twist of lemon on the top, just to give it a wee bit of zest, a bit of life. And some more rocket leaves, just for a wee cheeky garnish. Okay. Oh yeah, combination of cheese, creamy eggs, and thin and hardy. Second glance like a fighting chance when I heard your name 
Such a singular favor.